Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius and it will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Sagittarius or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested in that, click the join button below. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description or both. You can don't forget to like me on Instagram and TikTok. Yes. The links to both are in the description box. So y'all, I just saw the true love card. So who is that? Maybe realizing, so this could be a situation where there is true love between you and another person. Somebody could be realizing their feelings for you. Oh, we do have new cycle on the back of the deck. So we have new beginnings, the end of a cycle, making a fresh new start. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. You guys could have a new true love coming in, but let's see, we have soulmate. Okay, so yeah, soul connection. Gypsy. Let's move these over here. What else? Happiness. Ooh, something's coming in for y'all. Oh, you guys have somebody coming in, a soul connection that looks like it's going to be your happy ending or it's going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. Um, something somebody's gonna take you seriously. This person could be very traditional. Um, or so you guys are gonna be slow and steady, mirroring. So that to me is twin energy, twin flame energy for some of you, but um you and this person could there's something about the two of you that you mirror each other or maybe you guys both um both of you guys need healing we have regret engagement they have somebody's having a shift in perspective about you i told you someone's maybe realizing how they really feel about you this i don't know for some of you that you could have a new person coming in but this looks like it may be a new cycle in a with a past person uh, but we're going to get more clarity right now let's move these over Okay, that's better. All right, so tell me what this means for my Sagittarius Collective. Where does my Sagittarius Collective see? We have forever changed. So a love that transforms, a new self. Okay, so you guys can be coming into a new version of yourselves. Dating. Ready to start dating, meeting new love interests. I don't know, some of you guys are manifesting somebody new. Okay, what about friendship? Risk. Why is that a risk? Who's this? Someone doesn't want to hold their... You guys could maybe like be afraid to get out there and start dating again. Because maybe some of you guys have been friend zoned a lot. Um, maybe some of you guys are going to just want to take things very slow. Um, not reveal too much of your feelings or emotions to this person. You maybe feel like that's risky. Let's see. Tell me more about what's about to happen here. Home. Okay, what about home? So maybe you guys have been just kind of focusing on yourselves and um, spending a lot of time at home because I feel like you guys are not really ready to open up to the possibility of a new person. I'm, I'm seeing it here. Yeah, you guys maybe have made something maybe just recently came to an end. Something that was unhealthy, something that was toxic, something that maybe you feel like you were lying to yourselves about or somebody was lying to you or you were dealing with a liar. So yeah, I just see you guys feeling maybe you're not quite ready to take that risk and open up because you've been dealing with like you were in some type of really toxic relationship where you maybe keep encountering them. So tell me about soulmate. We have work. Okay. What about work? Against time. This, this feels like past energy. What about work? Mutual feelings. Yeah, look at this. First love, no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. I don't know. You guys may have new options coming in, but, or you may have somebody coming in, but you guys may have new and old coming in. But I just see you guys are maybe just focusing on work or something. Like you guys are not. What does work mean for Sagittarius? 
mental prison what about mental prison oops divorce out in the cold what does this have to do with sag love activation see someone's feelings are changing for you yeah i don't know guys i don't feel i feel like you guys see there's that true love energy we have a love offer we have love activation and we have true love Someone is up in their head about you, thinking a lot about you. Somebody's feelings for you. They're realizing their feelings for you. They're awakening to their feelings for you. They're maybe realizing that they do feel the same way about you or that they want to compromise or have an equal give and take with you. This is somebody that feels that they may be run out of time. This could also be somebody that's been working a lot. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is a past person that you had some type of complicated relationship with. It could be somebody that is married or that you were married to and their feelings are changing for you. All right. Um, this is somebody that you possibly had a breakup with. And now this person is wanting to, their feelings are changing. They're having a shift in perspective about you. Tell me about gypsy. Abundance. Okay. What about it? Cursed. Okay. What's this have to do with Sag? Regret. Maybe this person is like, they, they know something. They know that. For some of you, this is somebody that knows that they have to give up something else to be able to be with you. But I feel like you're a lot different from what they're used to. Someone's in regret. Why are they regretting? You're, they view you as very abundant. They regret sending you big signals or being inconsistent. Tell me more. Then maybe somebody knows that right that now you don't trust them. Okay, you don't trust. See, they want to. Somebody, this is reconciliation energy. For some, yeah, somebody that doesn't want anybody else to have you. Somebody that was very inconsistent in and out. Or they didn't really know what they wanted. They want to work things out here. What does happiness mean for Sag? Extravagant gestures. Yeah, this is somebody coming back to make something up for you. They know that they were foolish. They know that they played games. They, they regret not taking this more seriously with you. So what is, but what is happy, happiness mean for this person that's coming back? See, guys, I worry because they're looking at you as very abundant and it doesn't look like they've been doing pretty well. All right. And they're going through some financial issues. Yeah. Look at this. Cause we do have unvalued and we have depression. They want to work out to you, but don't maybe not trust this person because I see that they've been watching you. They've been keeping tabs on you. They do think about you a lot. Um, but with the surf, this plastic surface level relationship, fake love messages, not a real love connection. I feel like this may not be your person, like not the person that you're going to find true love with. All right. Who is this true love bond? Who is this true love person? Self-delusion, separation and waiting. Guys, you, I do see more than one energy here. I see one, some part, there's one, guys, I know you're gonna be like, oh my gosh. There's somebody coming back towards you for the wrong intentions. Like, I feel like they're maybe coming back towards you because I did see that, um, what was that card I just saw talking about um, red flags or needing to protect yourself? Somebody's going through financial issues and they're looking at you as someone very abundant. There may be somebody attached to a karmic. They, they're they going to want to reconcile. They do have regrets, but I feel like what's maybe fueling them to come back towards you. They're maybe telling you that they love you and that they want to be with you, but it's they don't really love you. Okay. There's somebody though that you do have a true love connection with. Who's maybe in, I know you're be like, why, why? They're in de denial about you or they're lying to themselves or maybe you're not seeing it. You're not seeing that this is a true love connection between you and this person or they're not seeing it. This is that separation card. I was telling you, like somebody, you're in, it's somebody that you're in separation with and things are not moving forward with this person right now. This is somebody that's been running from the connection. Someone has not been wanting to accept this connection. Conflicted, all right? Somebody that you have like repeated a cycle with. There's something here give me one second guys all right um so what's up with this person what's up with this person see knowing the path Maybe you guys feel like you do know there's somebody I feel like, okay, there's one person who's coming back that wants to reconcile with you. 
saying that they want to have something more serious with you. How do they feel about that person? Before I say what I'm going to say, you look at this. You're very guarded with this person. Yeah, you don't. It says unavailable, avoiding intimacy, emotional burdens. You know this person is not your person. Or you don't, yeah, boundaries. Very guarded with this past person because they were a player. They were refusing to commit to you at some point. Or they thought that the grass was greener on the other side type energy, okay? Um, they've caused you some type of heartbreak, all right? So I feel like you guys know that they're not your person. Like you, you just have a knowing about them. But what do they know about this other person? This one that's avoiding the connection. See, you feel like there's maybe going to be like a new begin. That's who the new cycle is. You feel like there's going to maybe be a new beginning with this person. I don't know. You, you feel like you and this person are on the same page, but that that may change in the future. Let's see. Yeah, you're going to have a choice. There's choices here. There's options here. What was well, this person that they do want? Or are they still? What are they? What about this person that's avoiding the connection? Tell me more. The one that see. So it looks like the one that's avoiding you right now, they don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want anyone else to have you. They do have a fear of losing you. So what's up with them? Okay. They're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. Tell me more. But they see love bombers. What's that about? They were a love bomber in the past. They were maybe emotionally manipulative in some way. What else do you have to say about this person that is avoiding the connection right now? You had a lot of conflict with this person. Yeah, they were also a player. Yeah, low self-esteem. Yeah, the timing hasn't been right for you and this person. So I'm almost unrequited. See, okay. And then we also have that mutual feelings card. So you're letting them go. You're trying to let them go. But see, okay. Okay main lady well you what you guys felt about this person is true like from what i can see here you okay so let's let's break this down i feel like you're dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame you do have soul connections with both of these people but it's a different type of connection with each of them okay you have one person like i said who was a player they were refusing to commit to you they maybe had or attached to a karmic or whatever this person is coming back towards you wanting to reconcile and wanting to have it all with you and i feel like you don't trust them. You're very closed off and guarded when it comes to this person. They put you through a lot. I feel like you guys know that they, you don't feel like they are your person or you know that they're not your person, okay? Also, I see this energy of them going through financial issues and you being very abundant. And I'm. you guys are questioning their intentions or a spirit is saying that, you know, you need to think, consider that, that they may be coming towards you for that reason, all right? There's this other person here, all right? Um, that you maybe still are holding on to and you're hoping that one day maybe they'll have a different perspective or maybe you feel like one day you know that they're going to change. Right now, you and this person are on the same page, but I feel like you know that there's something significant. Like you feel like this other person, the one that's avoiding the connection, running from you, um, maybe the one that told you that the feelings weren't like, maybe you feel like it was one-sided or that the feelings weren't mutual. This emotionally, they've maybe been emotionally manipulative because they have low self-esteem and abandonment issues. Um... You had a lot of conflict. Like you have a lot of bad memories with this person and a lot of good memories with them, okay? I still think you reminisce on them or there's something that's really keeping this person stuck is the past. They can't release the past. But we do have timing when it comes to this person. So it says bad timing, waiting for the right time, patience is needed. We have, so this is somebody you're not speaking to at this time. You guys maybe have cut off all communication with them. And you're, you maybe were trying to open up to the possibility of new love, Um let them go. And it's like now that you are starting to try to walk away from this or, you know, you still maybe feel like they're your person, but you're, you feel like you need to walk away from this. Look what's happening with this person. We have love activation. heart. Like I said, awakening heart space, opening twin flame ascension. So this could be your twin, like I said. And it says they have chosen no interference focused on one person. It says pregnancy, getting pregnant, building a family, giving birth to something. So I feel like something is shifting. Give me a few more cards about this person, this twin flame energy. Yeah, spotlight, high profile relationship, power couple, people envy the connection, but they're holding back. They see you guys being this, but they're holding back for right now, but they're not also able to move on from you. They're very intimidated by you. And they're getting clarity about you. Yes, look guys, well, that's confirmation that I was on the right track right there. Yeah, you have a twin flame that's getting clarity about you. Emotional, mental clarity, secrets coming to light, breakthrough. Yeah, you and this person were like, you're, you're possibly very different, but you guys have this intense soul connection because you guys are twins. But look, they're coming in with a love offer. Sincere offer of, wow, guys. Yeah, there it is again. 
There it is again. This person was not good for you. Low vibrational, toxic. But spirit is saying renewed hope, a bright future, doing the healing work. This person is going through a transformation. They're, they're starting to awaken and realize some things. They're starting to realize their feelings for you. And they are going to come in with some type of sincere offer of love. Now, what you do with that is completely up to you. But this person is definitely getting some type of clarity um, about you and how they feel about you. Okay, but what should they do about this other person, this soulmate? What about clean up? What does that mean for this person? Plastic. See, this person doesn't really love you. You, I feel like you guys know this. Yeah, they're playing games. They want you now that they can't have you. They were running and avoiding this connection. Couldn't make up their mind about you either. Um, it's like you guys may be tempted to engage with this, but I don't know if that would be the best option. Give me a few more cards about how they should handle this other person's soulmate. Yeah, look at this. This person says wanting to be free, not ready for commitment, independent, happy, single. So... Yeah, I don't know. Third party. They still have some type of third party. You're going to hear from this person, but they're just stringing you along. Being strung along, giving false hope, selfish intentions. What did I say? Selfish, heavy on the selfish intentions. All right, y'all. So yeah, this is definitely a reading about two different people. What do they need to know about this situation, spirit? We have death. Yeah, change. Scorpio energy. Symbolic death and rebirth. Big changes. Mm -hmm. Transformation. Starting anew. Six, so something is, what's coming to an end is like something that was one-sided. Yeah. Selfishness. Inequality. Lack of reciprocity. Yeah, it's three of swords in reverse, forgiveness, recovery, apologies. Yep. You, I feel like you guys are really starting to love on yourselves too. We have the Hierophant in reverse, so Taurus energy. Hmm. I feel like this is what Spirit is saying is coming to an end. Like there's something, like if you feel like you keep encountering connections where there was a lack of reciprocity, that's over. If you feel like you've been going through a lot of heartbreak, that's over for you. If you feel like you keep dealing with non-committal person, that's over for you, okay? Um, things are changing for you now. And it could be because you're practicing self-love now, all right? Um, we have seven of, seven of swords in reverse. So this is about regret, um, somebody confessing something or wanting to make amends, somebody getting caught doing something. Uh, maybe somebody got caught with a third party or they weren't being honest with you about a third party. They want to maybe apologize to you about that. There was some type of dishonesty here. But see, we have the Ace of Pentacles and then we have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is that Pat, this, this soulmate, this one that's having the financial issues. They're rushing towards you, but I just feel like they're really not really going to put any effort and work into this. All right. So let's get a few cards about this soulmate energy. This one that's the moon, Pisces energy, two of swords. See, you're going to have to have either they're trying to make a decision. They're conflicted or you're going to have to make a de decision. Tell me more. We have the wheel of fortune, Sagittarius and Pisces energy. What about it? See, they have regret. They This was somebody that was trying to make a decision between you and somebody else. They couldn't see something clearly. Their fears were holding them back from making a decision between you and a karmic, I feel like. All right, or you and something else. But now something has changed and now they're feeling very regretful. But I do see this person still... <sighs> Can they trust this person? Give me one more card about their, this person's intentions. See, Ten of Swords. No. I don't feel like you can trust this person. Queen of Wands. Seven of Cups. They're still confused, confused about you. Loss. Being left out to bleed. Crisis. Deep wounds. Collapse. Exhaustion. Betrayal. Yeah. Why? Seven of Wands in reverse. Weak boundaries. Giving up. I feel like once you start letting your guard down with this person, they may... They're coming in to apologize, but I feel like once you start letting your guard with them again, down again, like they're going to switch up on you possibly. 
give me a little bit more clarity. We have the chariot in reverse. Yeah, lack of movement, like giving up, losing direction, powerless. I feel like you guys have given up on this. Like this is just something that you don't want to put any more work and effort into, to be honest. Like, yeah, missed opportunity, four of cups. They maybe at some point had an opportunity with you, but they messed it up. All right, so tell me about... see tell me about this twin flame six of cups yeah this is somebody that you have a soul con let's see that's the one you miss or there's like this missing eight of cups somebody misses you but they walked away from you or they're struggling you, you may have given up on this person too we have the magician aries energy justice in reverse the high priestess in reverse the two of pentacles. This person has an inability to commit. And I feel like they've been um, not being honest with themselves about some things. Yeah, I feel like they, they're not listening to their intuition. What is, what's this mean for? Yeah, they have, like I said, did I say this? They, they still have lessons that they still need to learn. They're ex ignoring and resisting the universe. Yeah. So what does this mean going forward with this twin flame energy? Going forward with this twin flame energy? Queen of cups. What about the queen of cups? Hold on. Too many cards. Okay. What about the what does this mean for this connection? The two of wands are reverse. Hmm. What does that mean for Sag? I don't know if this person had it. What is who is this Queen of Cups? King of Pentacles in reverse. What is that? Did this person have somebody else too? Both of these people could have third parties, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. I see something. Tell me about this twin flame energy. What is it currently going on in their energy and how are they feeling about Sag? See, what is this? Seven of Swords, betrayal. I feel like whatever this person was hiding or being deceptive about, it could be their feelings and emotions. It definitely could be their feelings and emotions. The Queen of Cups. This person needs to get more in touch. Like they're they're they've been like trying to hide their like you know something about their fe feminine energy. Like oh they haven't been in tune with their emotions or something. They've been trying to hide it. Get like tell me more about it. Yeah, Page of Cups. I'm telling you. Tell me more about it. Because we had the Seven of Swords in reverse earlier. It's like whatever they were hiding is going to be revealed. The star, that's healing, that's hope, that's wish fulfillment. The page of cups says, yeah, look at this. Ten of swords in reverse, recovery. They're going to try to come in and apologize and fix this. But what is this? Maybe that's strategic energy. Yeah, this person's maybe trying to figure out how they can make something right with you. Because the, the seven of swords doesn't always have to be a liar, a cheater, um, you know, dishonesty. Sometimes it's like scheming or strategic energy. Tell me more about what the seven of swords means in this situation. The Six of Swords, okay. I feel like they're trying to figure out how they can bring this situation back. See, what are they walking away from? This person is possibly walking away from one thing to come towards you. What is this eight, Six of Swords and this... What does the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups mean for Sag? And what action this person is taking towards Sag? See, the Sun. This person is maybe trying to move on from you. But they're not happy without you. Tell me more. So what's going to happen? They're going to hear from this person. See, there's that queen of cups. In reverse. This person's not happy without you. It's like this person's almost in like a codependent type energy, right? So this person's going to try to be happy without you and move on. But it's not going to work out for them. And then when that doesn't work out for them, they're going to reach out to you because this person is codependent. They feel like you are their happiness or that you bring them happiness. They feel like all the happiness left their life when you left their life. So yeah, tell me more about what this communication is or this action they're taking is. Seven of Cups song? What is that? See? Illusions. What is the Seven of Cups? The Queen of Pentacles, Okay. Ready to act. What does this seven of cups mean for this person? That they're, see, what is this about? They're, they're trying to make a choice between something, you and something else. What is this choice? 
Four of Cups, Page of Cups. Maybe this person is trying to figure out. Maybe some of them think that it's wishful thinking. Like they're going to want to work on things with you, but they think that you're just doing well without them and that you may not need them. Like I see them wanting to come out of no contact, wanting to take action towards you, but I also see them thinking that maybe if they've missed an opportunity, the Ace of Wands. See, they want to reconcile. They want to reignite this. Why were they confused though? What were they not? What's the Seven of Cups? Why were they not? Nine of Cups. The Two of Wands. This person didn't know it was going to make them happy. They were stuck in fear of change. Like they, they had a fear of change. They, they weren't sure which path was going to bring them happiness. And what are they realizing now? I mean, I see them wanting to reignite something. They're letting something go. They're releasing something. And what does that mean for this connection? Seven of, nine of wands in reverse. They're like kind of letting their guard down. Six of cups. See, well, I don't know, guys. The emperor. Six of wands. Mm. Based off the current energy, this person's still very, is very confused. What's giving them this epiphany then? They're, they're being very resistant at the moment, okay? But I see that now you guys may be going cold on this person. And what's, what's, that, what's happening? Then all of a sudden they're going to... See, why is the... Something about the fear of them missing an opportunity with you. Sorry, guys. They're out there making a lot of noise. There's something about this person does have fears about missing an opportunity with you. So they feel like they need to hurry up and take some type of action. But yeah, Chariot. But what's that? Two of Cups. The Devil in Reverse. Yeah, leaving abusive or toxic situations. They're leaving something toxic. Hmm. What are they afraid of? What is this other, what are they afraid of leaving? Or what is it that they're leaving? Some type of burdens or extra responsibilities. Re, um, it says too many burdens, extra responsibilities, efforting, stress and exhaustion, duty, obligation, burnout, struggles. So that's what they need to release or they are releasing. The magician in reverse. See, something that, some type of illusion. What is that? The moon, see, they're seeing through some type of illusion. The truth is being exposed about, or maybe they're, what is the truth being exposed? Justice. Cause and effect. Truth. See, what is this truth that's being revealed? What? So maybe it's something about a legal situation. What's the truth? Ace of Wands. What truth is being coming out here? Two of Pentacles. What is the truth? Mm. I don't know, guys. Spirit's not really telling me. Something that was hidden is coming to light when it comes to this Twin Flame energy. Something was hidden. Let's see. Let's get a few oracles. What is changing? Or not changing. What truth is being revealed? What is this truth that's being revealed here? lost your ability to act rational no regard for others feelings maybe this person's realizing something about themselves that they've been um they they didn't care about other people or that they had no regard for other people's feelings tell me more maybe they're realizing something about them they had no regard for you let's see that maybe they're stuck in some type of yeah outdated opinions out of touch closed-minded resisting change Tell me more about what's being revealed here. Yeah, that this person has been dumb or something. P person or place being wretched, behaving stupidly or reckless, nasty, unappealing, inelegant. So I feel like this person's realizing something about themselves, something that they couldn't but see about themselves before. And maybe it's because of something you you told them about themselves that they're starting to see it now. I don't know. It's something here. We have digitally, digital, dig, goodness, I cannot talk. 
digitally absorb, absor goodness, I don't know, guys, I don't know if I can even get my words out. <sighs> Digital, digitally observing a love interest, keeping tabs, staying connected, stalking a crush cowardice. Okay. Gassed. Glow up. follower this person's keeping tabs on you they're watching you do well without them yep definitely watching you keeping tabs on you so it's as you start focusing on you and they see you doing well without them and not needing them they're gonna realize something about themselves that's what i'm seeing here tell me more about what they're they're realizing yeah look at this missing someone emotional lonely depressed sad so what did they think what were they what was the illusion they thought that they were going to be okay it's like almost like this person thought that they could be okay without you. What do they think? They could be okay on their on their own. Yeah, what was this? What were they? What do they think that wasn't true? Yeah, it's like this person needs your validation. It's like the longer this person goes without your validation and without your attention and you're placing your focus on other things, this person's starting to realize things about themselves. Tell me more about what they're realizing about themselves. Yeah, whatever you had is over. Left, maybe they were. They thought that things weren't over between the two of you. That you really weren't walking away from them. Yeah, their point of view is shifting. Their perspective is shifting. Now they want to take some type of action here. They feel like they did. They did made a stupid move. What about see what was being hidden? They've been hiding their true self and their true feelings from you. Tell me about what was hit, being hidden here. What was being hidden? See, yeah, something was definitely, they weren't being honest about something. What they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not, lies, bullshit, faking. All right, what's the truth? The truth is, finesse. Oh, this person was maybe trying to manipulate you into, you know, getting you to date them again or to sleep with them. Um, And I feel like you guys, how did that go for them? They thought they still had power or influence over you, but they thought they could persuade you. But, huh. This person's missing your healing energy or something, guys. This person's missing your compliments. They're missing your encouragement, your support, your good energy. All right? That's what they're missing. I feel like things maybe started going a lot better for this person. And you really praised them. You really uplifted them when you were in their life. And now that it's not there, look at this. Thirsty, needing validation, fishing for compliments, desperate, horny, too eager. So this person's going to realize that they can't, they don't feel happy. They don't feel whole without you. Give, like, there's something about you being around them. But this person was maybe feeding on your energy in some way. How do they feel? How do they feel now that they're apart from Sag? How do they feel now that they're apart from Sag? Can't believe what you heard. Caught off guard. Unsettled. They're feeling very unsettled. What about Savage? Five receipts. Put on blast. They're trying to act like something you said didn't bother them, but it did. Something happened and it and it really did bother them. I feel like they're also for, uh, surprised that you didn't fall for something this time. So now what are they going to do? What are they going to do now? This person does not want you dating anybody else. They're going to have to destroy, destroy, work on themselves. Yeah, they're going to have to do the work to be better and break out of some type of generational curses or something here. They're going to be back. They're in their feelings over you. Yeah, it says, they believe in the relationship, wishing you stay together, rooting for the partnership. Mm, they want to dominate the, the competition. So this is somebody that's going to want to come in 
and fight for you. They, if you know, they think you're getting out there and dating again. I see it here. All right, guys, we're going to take this over to the extended reading to take a deeper look at this person's feelings and intentions, which you guys can expect to happen. Timing, guidance, all of that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box. I hope you guys, um, what was I going to say? Oh, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the extended reading. Bye.